Yo, what's good, YouTube? I just got my pre built PC from I Buy Power. PC Master Race, y'all. I'm officially a PC head. I'm a PC gamer now. I had a PC before and I had some PC games on it. But it ain't nothing like this bad boy right here. We're about to jump into all the specs. Smash that like button. Comment down below. Let me know if you have a pre-built PC or if you've built your own PC. I've done both. And subscribe if you're brand new. This is day 102 and I'm going for 365. So hit that subscribe button with the post notification bell so you don't miss anything coming from Dove CP. The way I'm gonna break my new PC down is a series of videos letting you know particulars. Spaticulars? Spaticulars is not a word. I'm gonna let you know the specifications and the particulars of each of the parts that I purchased and put together in this PC. Starting with the overall, I'm just gonna run down the specs and let you know what's in this bad boy. And this is just the tower. This is just the pre-built PC. This ain't even got to do nothing with the brand new monitor that I picked up. Hey, we're going to talk about that too later on this week. But right now, let's get into these specs because I know you want to know all about it. And every single specification is down in the description along with a link to iBuyPower. I've had nothing but success from them. The only bad thing that I could really say about iBuyPower is it took forever and a day. They had me waiting, man. I ordered it on February 20th. February 22nd. I ordered I, please keep it. I'm so excited I don't even know what to say. I ordered it February 2nd, 2021, and I just got it April 12th. The process took a lot longer than I expected, probably, and more than likely, I'm gonna go ahead and say 99% sure that COVID had a lot to do with that, with the delay in the process, the shipment, and all that stuff. But hey! here now let's start with the case it is an i buy power element pro front and side tempered glass with the rgb gaming baby emblem on the front and on the cpu we got some default case fans we got case lighting we got the i buy power rgb lighting for free with one RGB lighting strip that you can see down the side right here. Processor. I know y'all been waiting already to hear about what processor's in here. I went with the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X processor, 12 times 3.7 gigahertz, 64 megabytes L3 cache. And that was a pre-ordered item and that was probably one of the reasons that it took a little bit longer than usual to get this rig put together because that's a hot item, baby. Then the cooling, we just went with some I buy power 240 millimeter addressable RGB liquid cooling system, all black. For the memory, I only went with 16 gigs, two eight gig sticks, of DDR4 3600 memory modules, G Skill Trident Z with the RGB LED. You see it. Look at it moving up and down. Ooh, it's beautiful. And I only went with 16 gigs just because I can purchase more RAM in the future. I'm not really worried about that. And I'm going to get up to 32 gigs. So it, we all good there. The motherboard. Not the father board, not the brother board, not the deacon board. The mother board is a Asus Tough Gaming B550 Plus ARGB header, USB 3.2 ports, one type C port, five type A ports, M.2 slots. We got three of them things on the mother board. Hey, that thing is tough. Like tough game. Power supply, we went with a... 1050 watt man hey we we ready to light up all the christmas trees on the block you know what i'm saying but it's a high power 80 plus gold fully modular we definitely went with the advanced cabling options you see how beautiful it looks inside and out and then the primary drive that i have is a one terabyte wd blue 
SN550M.2 and the coup de gras. The thing that's pumping out almost a thousand frames per second is that NVIDIA RTX 3080 10 gigabyte GPU. This graphics card can make you see things you've never seen before. Man, I downloaded a couple of games and immediately was like, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Warzone, for instance, I, I got to relearn how to play the game now because it looks so good. That 3080 is special. Woo, that thing looked beautiful, don't it? And I actually added a game capture card in the Avermedia 4K pass-through Live Gamer 4K. So that's what I brought from the old PC into the new PC, but that's just to capture my games. Other than that, yo, listen. I buy power did their thug this one. I took it out the box, plugged the bad boy up, and y'all seen me when I first turned it on yesterday. No problems, no problemos. Them things came on, the fans came on, I was mesmerized, I didn't know if I was at a observatorium or a dang on studio, but the lights came on and I was, ah, it's so beautiful. Super duper excited that I went with a pre-built this time instead of building it myself. I buy power. Listen, they getting some free advertisement right now, but they did me a, a awesome service. They put together a beautiful rig and outside of shipping and the time it took to get to me, an amazing product. And I'm super excited that I drum roll, please. <laughs> spent 2900 for this rig and that's just for the pre-built pc i will talk about the beautiful monitor that i picked up in another video but i hope y'all enjoy i hope y'all understand what kind of specs i got i put them down in the description links to i buy power y'all already know what it is Y'all already know what it was. It's your boy, Dubs CP, and I'm here to do one thing, and one thing only, and that's... Deuces.